Hi, welcome to Awkward Amsterdam. Recently, I got this case for the Samsung Galaxy 832 5G and paid about $9 before tax off Amazon. I opted for a case because this phone will be mostly for the kids when they're playing Pokemon Go. And also, this case on the backside at least, it's a fingerprint magnet. Open this up here. This one came with a tempered glass screen protector. I didn't see an advertisement on the, the hardness of the tempered glass. But I opted for a tempered glass because I'm just not too fond of the, the film types. Where the, the plastic coverings. Here's the patch installation and cleaning kit. Now, one of the reasons I got this one versus there were a lot on Amazon. But one of the reasons I got this one was because of the ring over here. I want one where I can turn 360. Hmm. This is plastic. I didn't really pay that much attention. So this part is also plastic. It's all some form of plastic. Hmm. All right, let's first put this on and see how well it fits. Nothing's blocked. Auto cutouts are fine. The fingerprint sensor still works. The volume. Volume down, volume up, they continue to work. All right, let's take a look at this. Instructions on the bottom over here. Use alcohol. Use the dust remover, the stickiness. Tear apart layer one and place it on. All right, let me get this set up. Here's for the dust absorber. can't say I'm a big fan of the, the black border, the pre-existing black border on the tempered glass. And these guy stickers, yeah, they're too weak. I'm trying to get rid of these bubbles here. If 
does not look perfect. You might just have to live with this. Because if I keep taking it off and putting it back on, there's a chance that I'll either crack the screen or make it look worse. When a screen's lit, I don't really notice air pockets or faintly, it's gotta be like a glare reflection, then I see it. So there's small pockets here, 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 one right here. The ones without the black border on a tempered glass, those cost, I think, like a, a dollar or a little more than a dollar more. I probably should have gone with those instead, instead of this one here. But with this one, I was just so caught up on the, the 360 ring. Now, with this being plastic, I sure hope it's durable. So like this way, it's not able to support the weight of the phone. This way, yes, it can. But then the angle is a bit too steep. Try tilting a little bit. Okay, it's not bad. At the end of the day, I only spent less than $10 for this. So, and fingerprint sensor still works. The border down here, let me see if I can still swipe up. Yes, I can swipe up from the top over here. Swipe down and just check the camera. Camera, back camera is fine. The front camera is fine no obstruction right, so this was the I can't even pronounce this brand name so this is a I'll say it, it's a it's a decent inexpensive case for the Samsung Galaxy A32 5G and if you have a higher budget get one with the metal ring but I'll always recommend get one that this can turn 360. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.